It's the one thing that we all have, the mind, right? But it's the one thing that we don't have a manual for. We buy a blender, we get a manual. Our iPhone comes with a manual. We get a car and it has a manual. Nobody teaches you how to use the mind. There's no manual for the mind. So this, I think, is one of the most essential things in making progress in our life, is really understanding how our mind works. It's the one thing that we have to live with 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have no choice. Imagine if, you were, if most of you were slept eight hours a day, which most of you don't. Uh, you slept and you were awake 16 hours a day. In the 16 hours you practice your awareness just randomly moving from one thing to another, to another, to another, all day practice being distracted. What would you be good at after six months? You did the 16 hours a day, you just allow your awareness to jump from one thing to another, to another. I'll tweet right now, I'll switch to text messaging, then I'll go to email, oh, my phone's ringing, so I'll answer the phone. And then somebody's speaking to me, so I'll have two conversations at one time. And I'll just do this, 16 hours a day, seven days a week. So you get it being good at distracted. After one year, you're an expert at being distracted. After a year and a half, they'll invite you to give keynote talks on being distracted. <laughs> you're so good, you practice 16 hours a day. So the same works for the opposite. If you practice being concentrated 16 hours a day, what would you become good at? You become good at concentrating. And all it takes is, being, is practice by just doing one thing at a time keeping your awareness on one thing at a time. And you integrate this into everything that you do in your life. So the best way to do it is pick a few opportunities in your everyday life. For example, we all speak with people. When I speak with somebody, I give them my undivided attention. I keep my awareness on them. And the conversation is really brief. Why? Because we're concentrated. We're not being distracted. A 10 minute conversation normally just takes three minutes because you're just so focused. I define concentration as the ability to keep that awareness on one thing for a prolonged period of time. So if I can keep my awareness on Eric and not drift away and think about the wedding or drift away and think about the vacation or what I'm going to do later, then I'm concentrating on Eric. Every time it drifts away, I bring it back. And the more I practice this, the more I practice concentration. So concentration is the ability to keep your awareness on one thing for a prolonged period of time. And that's a very simple definition of concentration. How do you get better at concentration? You practice this. You practice this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's the only way to get good at it. And what's the best way to practice it? The best way to practice it is to integrate it into everything that you do in your life not to meditate 10 minutes in the morning. It doesn't work. You really need to look at your life the same way a sprinter in the Olympics looks at his life. You've all heard of Usain Bolt, the man that won the gold medal twice, two Olympics in a row, broke the world record. I don't know anything about him, to be honest. But if I was looked at him, I would... He obviously sprints, he practiced running probably does a lot of long distance, he probably does a lot of stretching as well, I'm sure he gets massages. He looks like he eats the right kind of food, drinks the right amount of water, takes vitamins. His whole day is so disciplined, for what? To prepare him for 9.57 seconds, I think that's what the world record is, right? 400 meters, 9.5 or 9.57 seconds. His whole day is preparing him for that short time not the other way around. A lot of people say, you know what, I need to be more concentrated. So you know what, I'm gonna meditate in the morning, I'll sit down for two minutes. Okay, now I'm Zen master. <laughs> and the remaining 23 hours and 58 minutes, they just go about being ordinary and crazy. How does that work? How would you change? It's not balanced at all. So if for 23 hours and 58 minutes you were not being concentrated, you allowed your awareness to jump from one thing in your mind to another thing, to another thing, to another thing, to another thing, to another thing in an uncontrolled way, what would you be good at? And out of con a, a prolonged concentration comes the wonderful power of observation. You just become more observant and when you become more observant you see solutions quicker and you solve things quicker. And it's a wonderful powerful feeling 
when somebody is concentrated on you and not being distracted. So the best way is to integrate it into your everyday life. You're speaking with your spouse, give her or give him your undivided attention. So develop your awareness, integrate it into everything that you do in your life. And that's the best way you become good at. The next thing we need to develop is develop your will. Will is really important. Will is almost like a muscle in your mind and you use that to pull and control your awareness and take it from one area of the mind to another. What are the, and the will needs to be developed and same like concentration, if you don't cultivate the will, it doesn't grow. And this is something that really needs to be cultivated. How do you develop the will? There are three very simple ways to develop the will. One is you finish what you begin. Two is you finish it well beyond your expectation, no matter how long it takes. Three is you do a little bit more than you think you can do. All of those things require effort and effort is will. It's so much easier to start a project than to finish a project, right? When you start a project, you're feeling creative, you're feeling inspired, you're full of energy. At the end of the project, you go, whose idea was this? So it requires tremendous amount of will to finish. And every time you complete something, you develop a little bit more will and you have that muscle. And will is an amazing thing to develop because once you develop will, that same will you can use in every aspect of your life to keep your awareness on one thing at a time, to finish projects, to see things through to the end, anything you want. The best way to develop will, bring it into your everyday life, into everything that you do. Give you an example, the way I integrate it into my everyday life, I try and finish what I begin. So for example, going to sleep. I sleep every night, so I put on my pajamas, I floss, I brush my teeth, I go to bed, I sleep, I wake up in the morning, I make the bed. Why? Because I'm finishing what I start. How can you go somewhere if you don't know where you're trying to go and what you're trying to achieve? I always like to say that the secret to success is doing a lot of little things consistently over a long period of time. Like people see the headline, the 50, yeah. but they don't realize there was a decade that went into that. Of training and building up to it? Everything, you know, you can only get so physically fit for a challenge and then at that point in time your mind and your body have to come into alignment and then the mind takes over and uh, you know one of the biggest questions I get is how do I come or become mentally tough and uh, you know a lot of people say oh you're either born with it or is it something that you can develop and I'm in the the camp of it's it's a development process it's, anybody can do it. And uh, I mean, it started for me in seventh grade. Um, I grew up as a wrestler in Canada. And uh, I lost my very first match. In fact, I lost almost every match after that wow. the, uh, the entire season. Um, Why'd you keep going? Yeah, I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person that I don't, I don't love to be defined by those moments. It was like the, fi the 5K that I have, in, or the four mile fun run. I don't like the word fun and run together. <laughs> but it, either. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many people do you see running around smiling? Yeah. Um, but, but for me, um, I, I don't, I don't enjoy those moments to define me and, and I want to, I want to overcome that. And, uh, and so I, I would wake up and study the sport and, and show up and, and you know, that you always hear show up early and stay late. Um, and, and I really did that. And by the time I hit my senior year, I went undefeated. Oh. Um, and it's not because I had any talent, um, it's because I was willing to show up. 